To detect spyware, you can use built-in Windows utilities, sys internal tools, and CMD commands to identify suspicious activities. Here's how to detect spyware like a hacker. Open Resource Monitor. Search for Resource Monitor in the Start menu and open it. This tool provides a detailed view of your system's resource usage, including network activity. Go to the Network tab. Click on the Network tab within Resource Monitor. This tab displays information about network activity, including processes with network connections, their associated data usage, and details about the connections. Look for unusual network activity. In the Processes with Network Activity section, you'll see a list of processes that are currently using the network. Pay attention to processes that are unfamiliar or not visually associated with your everyday activity. Check the TCP Connections section to view active network connections. Look for any connections to unfamiliar IP addresses or domains. If you find any unknown processes with unusual network activity, you might want to investigate further. Right click on the process and select Search Online to gather more information about it. This can help you determine whether it's a legitimate application or potential spyware. List DLLs loaded by processes with tax lists and find STR. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Spyware might inject itself into other processes through DLLs. Use tax list to view DLLs used by processes. Type tax list L. Legitimate processes generally load a specific set of known models. If you will notice a well-known system process like Explorer Executable or SVC Host Executable loading strange or unexpected DLLs, it could indicate spyware or other malicious software. Inspect memory usage with tax list. Spyware often consumes system resources. You can check memory usage by running processes. Type tax list. V, F O, C S V. Find S T R. I. Then replace suspicious process name with the name of the suspicious process. Spyware often runs in the background, masquerading as legitimate processes or using obscure names. By using this command, you can quickly filter for known suspicious process names, allowing you to identify spyware burdened with unexpected window titles, high memory usage, or unusual states. Use sys internal tools. Using auto run is an effective sys internal tool for detecting spyware, as this tool provides detailed insights into auto starting programs. Here's how to use it. Get auto run from the sys internal website. Type auto runs in your preferred web browser and click on the official Microsoft website. Download the latest version. Open the downloaded file. Now extract the downloaded file. Choose your preferred destination folder to send the extracted files and click next. Choose the suitable app option provided and run auto runs executable. Agree to Sys Internals software license terms. Auto Runs will display a comprehensive list of all auto starting programs and their locations. Example startup folders, registry entries, and more. Look for entries that are unfamiliar or not recognized. Spyware often creates startup entries to ensure it runs automatically. 
you should pay more attention to entries which are not from a verified publisher. Disable or delete any suspicious entries and be cautious and ensure that the entry is not a critical system component before removing it. Always research online before taking an action. Monitor network traffic in real time with netstat virus B. This command shows which executables are making network connections. Type netstat B O 5. Spyware typically communicates with external servers to send stolen information or receive commands. By using netstat, you can see which processes on your computer are establishing network connections. If you notice an unexpected or suspicious process, an example is an unfamiliar executable name making frequent connections, it might indicate spyware. To end the process, press Ctrl plus C. This keyboard shortcut will stop the currently running command in the command prompt. You should see the process terminate and the command prompt will return to its normal state, allowing you to type new commands. Search for executables in unusual locations. Spyware often hides in obscure folders. You can search for executable files in critical system directories. Type DIRSBC. Users. Username. App data exe The app data folder is a common hiding place for spyware, malware, and other malicious software. This is because the folder is user specific and often less scrutinized than system directories. Spyware often installs itself in sub directories of app data to evade detection. Inspect settled task for persistence mechanisms. Use the settled task command to search for settled tasks that might be executing spyware component. Type sch task query so list v find str i user task Spyware and other malware often create shadow tasks to maintain persistence on the system. These tasks might be set up to run malicious programs, scripts, or commands at startup or at a regular interval. By acquiring all shadow tasks and examining their details, you can identify any tasks that appear suspicious or unfamiliar. If you find tasks running under unknown or unauthorized accounts, it could indicate malicious activity. Investigate Event Viewer for custom log sources. Spyware may create custom logs in Event Viewer. Check for custom log sources. Type WEVTUTIL ENUM logs. Look for any custom logs that may be used by spyware to hide its activities. Here you can identify logs that might contain suspicious or unusual activity. Spyware often tries to hide its actions, so reviewing these logs can reveal anomalies or unusual entries related to its activity.